child is week seven B. So we are working on focus and respect and we'll also be working since B, we're working on our self-defense and sparring and kicks. So yeah. Okay, so on each one of these things, it says this one says 10 bicycle crunches. So if I pull this one up, you have to do 10 bicycle crunches. We're ignoring the bottom half for right now, but um, I'll pick one up at a time and you have to do whatever it says with Miss Sophie. So here we go. I'm getting up. Okay, let's see. 15 slow side kicks. Go. So Whoa. since we're doing them slow, you should focus. You, your speed is okay. I'm just saying you should focus on accuracy and doing it right and keeping your hands up and turning your back foot and chambers please have chambers how many 15 five chambers and pulling your toes back so you don't kick with your um so you kick with your heel and not your toes because that would hurt eight nine ten you can do both legs or one leg Probably switch Two. it up to like one leg is it massive. Three. Four. Five. Cool, next one. Five bicycle crunches. I dropped it. Just drop. Okay, so if you don't know what a bicycle crunch is, you pedal your legs like you're doing a like you're riding a bicycle. And then you crunch. Two. Whoa. Such form. Three. Beautiful. Four. Five. How many are you doing? Five. Five. Yeah, that was the wrong stick. That wasn't gonna help me much. Okay, here we go. Next one. Ten bicycle crunches. I should have just did that. You should have. One. Wow, such horror. Look Two. at that bicycle go. Three. Four. Five. Mm -hmm. Six. Seven. Check out her Christmas pants. Eight. <laughs> nine. Ten. Okay. Next one. Let's do this one. Ten slow side kicks. Do five on each side or ten on each side or whatever on each you side? Want. Yeah, because I actually wrote each side, but oh. you can do five and five. That's okay too for right now. At one. Least. Two. Three. Four. Five, six. Miss gonna do them all on one side, but you don't have to. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bunny hops. One, one two, three, three, four, four, five, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight, ten, ten. Those ones are fun. Okay, let's see. Five side kicks. This is the last side kick one, I promise. One, <coughs> two. You guys are gonna have legs of steel. Three. Yeah, with all the hopping and kicking. Four. And bicep crunches. And bicep crunches. Five. Yeah, legs of steel, guys. Okay. Fifteen bunny hops. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. One, one two, two, three, four, five. five. If you want to, you can do these one legged like as well. Extra challenge. Okay. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> 15 bicycle crunches. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Such form. Nine. Such. Ten. I've lost one, words to describe bicycle two, crunches. There aren't that many, three, guys. Four, <coughs> five. So bicycle y. Okay. Five bunny hops, last one. Here we go. One, one two, two, three, four, four five. five. Whew. Hopefully you're warmed up now and your legs are now steel. Okay, so we're moving on to self defenses. We're going to do them on each other and then we're gonna do them in the air and then we're gonna practice them and then you're gonna hate me because I'm gonna make you do them a thousand times. But here we go. A thousand, that's a big number. A thousand is a big number. So we're gonna start with Kataguruma. So she's gonna punch. I step out of the way. What happens if I don't step out of the way? She's aiming towards my head. Even if I just blocked, your attacker is probably stronger than you. I don't think you're going to be attacked by someone this big. I just got my legs of steel. So yeah, I'm she just got legs of steel. I don't know why that affects your arm, but I guess it does. Okay, she's going to punch now. 
step block, parry, punch, oh. punch, turn, elbow. Oh. Now since we're working on focus, we're gonna focus on the details. Turn this way. Turn. Walk with me. Walk with me. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I stepped in your toe. Wait. Okay. So see how my arm is right here? That's my arm. This is her <laughs> arm. It's on my arm right here. What happens if I put it here? Hang on, give them a second. They're, they're gonna tell me because they all better know. Okay, now oh, yeah, that's them. right. That's, that's right. That's right. Ah. <laughs> so we have to do. It's called shoulder to shoulder contact. Oh, I don't know cool. why. If you put their shoulder on your shoulder, <laughs> you're gonna get choked. So it's really arm to arm contact. I feel like her arm on my arm, and then I'm not gonna throw her on the cement because although she knows how to land, she'll probably kill me. So I'm gonna twist and throw. I suggest you're doing this on your grown up. You also don't throw them. <laughs> Ask permission before you throw a sibling. Okay, so we'll do it one more time. She punches, block, parry, punch, punch, <laughs> turn, elbow, <laughs> punch. <laughs> that good? Yep. Throw. All right, I'm so now, now we'll do that one in the air. For those of you who don't know somebody, they can throw or pretend to throw. Here we go. <laughs> block, parry, punch, punch. Grab, turn, elbow, foot, throw. Okay, next one, side headlock. Oh, I'm so, sorry. just so you guys know, this one's side headlock. Since I know a lot of you don't know the name, this one, the other one, is front headlock. Because she's standing in front of me before she headlocks me. So we're not doing this one right now, we're doing the other one. Side headlock. Okay, so I step forward. You think, what's that called? called? That's Purposeful right. Compliance. Good job. Okay, so. Uh, uh, whoop, uh, uh, track. Grab something. I like to grab the hair uh, because uh, Mr. Stewart always taught me that ponytails make great handles. And you pull back and then you can hammer fist or you can sweep the leg or something. So they're on the ground. Okay. Yes, Again, she attacks me. I use purposeful compliance. Step forward. Turn. Okay. The nerves inside her leg, whoop uh, uh, And then there's nerves in the back of your leg too, whoop uh, uh, And then you track. So you take your knuckle and go up her spine. If you do it right, it hurts. Uh, yep. That way you can, it helps you know, because you know their head is going to be attached to their spine, hopefully. <laughs> if it's not, you don't have to really fight them. But if their head's attached to their spine, you know it's going to be right here. So you can grab something. You can grab an ear, but I wouldn't suggest that ears come off. You can grab the nose. Even though I don't like to do it, or the eye, something. Pull up, punch. Okay, now in the air. Step, whoop, buff, buff. Track, grab, boom. One more time. Whoop, buff, boom, boom. Track, grab, whoop, buff. Okay, so now we're going to do a game of cards. I have to get my cards. Before we do that, we're going to do something else. So, how is this going to work? Is Miss Sophie's gonna stand right there? Turn around. I'm gonna be running to you. Whenever I get to her, I have to do headlock in the air. Whenever I'm down there, I have to do pedic room in the air. We're only gonna do this like three times, but we have to do it so we know what we're doing. So I'm gonna start down here. Cool. I'll do pedic room up. Punch, block, block, whoop, block. Do it with her. Whoop, block. Yeah, do it with me. Whoop, whoop, block. And then we run. You run too. High five. And now we do headlock. So she grabs, boom, boom, boom. Track, whoop, whoop, ah. And now back. High five. High five, whoop, ah. Okay. Whoop, boom, 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 boom. Whoop, ah. Throw. Run. That was a really bad high five. Okay. Step, boom, boom. Track, whoop, ah. One more time. High run. Air high five. Block, parry, punch, punch, smooth, elbow, throw, run, step, boom, boom, track, up, grab, boom, awesome job, so now I need my cards, how this works is I'm going to draw five cards, if you get a, if it's a red one, you have to do headlock, oh, that's black, <laughs> It's a black one. <laughs> you have to do how to see the backs are red, so I'm confused. Black one, headlock. Red one, there we go. Katagruma, however many it says. 
So this one you have to do side headlock nine times. And this one you have to do headlock, um, I almost said heart times. <laughs> Kataguruma seven times. I'm a mess, guys. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, whoa, four, five. So I'll take a picture of that and then you can pause the video and do that. Okay, go. Okay, so we're going to do squats because we're working on our kicks now. So how this is going to work is whatever card I pull, we have to do that many squats. If I pull a red card, you have to do like jump squats. So you jump and then you squat. But if we pull a black card, we have, you have to attempt to do pistol squats, which are really difficult because you have to hold up one leg and squat. So we'll see how this goes. Can you come hold my cards? I'm attempting to shuffle them, but I'm not very good at it. Cool. Any card. Any, any card. card. Okay. What did I say was which? <laughs> was the red? red? One is the jump ones. Jump. Cool. Hold that. So we're gonna do eight jump squats. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, halfway there, just getting a little meat. <laughs> seven, <laughs> you can't see. Eight, I had to stop and figure out if six was half of eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. Six. Jump, jump squats. More jump squats. Here we go. She jump. regrets what she did. <laughs> squat. <laughs> jump. <laughs> squat. Jump, are you counting? Because I'm not. Yeah, you're on three. Thank you. This is Squat. Cool. Jump. Squat. How many are we doing? Six of them. You just did Jump. five. Squat. I'm crazy up in there. <laughs> I've been in quarantine too long, guys. Ooh, pistol squats. This is going to be fun. Eight of them. Here we go. Try not to fall over. These hurt, guys. Okay, Dude, don't fall over. Squat. One. We're going to do four on each side. Two. Okay, your goal is to be able to go all the way to the ground. I can't do that. That's what you're trying to do. If you can't trying do that, you, you can't do that, show me. You can't? That's all right. I can't either. If you fall over every time you try, that's me most of the time. So it's okay. I know. Three. Okay. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Well, one more card. Nine jump squats. Nine jump squats. We're doing a lot of jump squats. <coughs> jump, squat, one, jump, squat, two, jump, squat, three, jump. Squat, four, jump, squat, five, <clears throat> jump, squat, six, jump, squat, seven, jump, squat, eight, jump, squat, nine. Woo, we did right. it. So now we're gonna work on what's called the universal chamber. Woohoo! So your universal chamber is this chamber that it's like a Frankie chamber on a 45 degree angle. I have to hold the wall so I can talk and balance at the same time, but it's on a 45 degree angle. So the kicks you can do over here, front kick, side kick, back kick, kind of because I'm next to a wall, um, roundhouse kick, crescent kick, other crescent kick, axe kick. Uh, if you really want to, pitch hockey. You can do like anything from the chamber, that's why it's called a universal chamber. So, your job is going to be to pause. Oh, yeah, you can do an Ianchi kick too, if you know what that is. You probably don't, but if your parents take classes, you might. Either way, or an older sibling. 
You do that kick. This is how the kicks you can do. So your job is to find five kicks that you can do from a universal chamber and do them on both legs. Okay, pause the video now and okay, go. So we're gonna be shuffling from this giant stick to that hydroflask. That's okay. That's the best thing we had to do this year. So how it's gonna work is she's gonna shuffle. Every time I say stop, she has to do a universal chamber and pick a kick to do from it. Woo, that was a beautiful back kick. She was kicking squirrels though. Okay, here we go. So start shuffling, go. You're gonna shuffle to the hydroclass, get back to the stick, to the hydroclass, get to the stick, and so on and so Do forth. I have to touch it? I mean, if you want to. Touch. Stop. Get a little chamber and kick. Okay, so next, keep going. <laughs> next time I say stop, kick with the leg you, ju you didn't just kick with. She will probably kick with the same leg because she's dead. But. She's falling apart, like piece by piece, always. always. But um, please switch legs. You guys are gonna have such strong legs, but I know. Okay, stop. You're in the chamber. Woo! Now keep going. Look at my higher butt matches my shoes. Oh yeah, it does. Stop. Go ahead. Keep going. Three times, three times, we'll do it like six. If you do that, then you're getting both leg muscles. But you already have both leg muscles. But if you're going you there are. and back, you're already using both legs to lead. Wait, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, yeah. If you don't switch dance, you're already doing it. And range stuff is not going to work. Stop! As you know, we work on Universal Chamber for like a little bit during class. So basically, why is it important to use Universal Chamber in sparring? Well, if I was sparring her and she held up a, a Universal Chamber, she could be doing any kick. I could put my hand down here so she can't kick my... Yeah, so if she, I thought she was doing her honest kick and I blocked here, she can still kick me. But if I block for here, she can do something different. So there are a million different combinations of the universe chamber and it keeps your opponent guessing as what you're going to do and you always have that element of surprise. So, how is this going to work? Is I'm going to get my guard stance. Let's switch sides. Okay. So I'm in my guard stance. She's going to hold up targets. Various targets. I have to hit them in some fashion. And then she's going to swing it. This is for a rhino's kick that we normally do with pads. But, um, if she swings my head, I have to duck and then do a kick with the universal chamber. Okay, cool. Here we go. So boom, boom, boom. Oh, get somebody to do this with. Or a stuffed animal. Or a couch. I don't suggest punching a wall. That would hurt. Or do it in the air. Don't hit a dog. Don't hit a dog. Don't hit something living unless they're holding you targets. Okay, here we go. Don't hit a tree. We like trees. Okay. Okay, branches are targets. I mean, I guess. Okay. 
We'll only do the duck two more times. I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of targets anymore. Whoosh! And now, whoa, that was two in a row. Okay. Side kick. And the back kick. Oh. Ah. Ah. Okay, so that was the end of today's class. <laughs> that was a very weird note to end on, but that's how we're going to end. Oh, you get bonus points if you can put in the comments who does the artwork on our shirt. Fun fact, it's Miss Riley's favorite artist. It's Did I say also, author? No. I feel like I said author. You said artist. My artist. favorite artist. Okay. There's, it's also on the back wall where she was doing her kicks. So yes, I was doodling. That. Either way, um, yeah, it's not very good because I drew it, but um, <laughs> I'm not an artist. Good. Either way, make sure you post or comment a picture or a video of yourself doing something in class. I always reply. I might be kind of slow, but if you tag me, I'll be faster. If your parents are friends with me on Facebook, if they're not and they fried me, I'll say yes. So, you know, it's up to you. Either way, I'll get some eventually. Uh, if you have any questions, you can put them there. Um, I hope you have a good week. Bye.